Hello, welcome to the second part of our tutorial SQL Basics, based on the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School, held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman as part of the International Firebird Conference in 2007. We'll continue with Select Across Multiple Tables. To combine data across multiple tables, you can join the tables together, giving you results that contain information from both. For example, each film is categorized according to genre. Now what we want to see is the category that these films are associated with. Select P.title, C.text, from product P. Join category C on C.ID equals P.category ID. Join is a flexible command. The above example is known as an inner join. Theoretically, there could be products that have not been categorized, or categories that have no products. If you want to include these products or these categories in your result list, it is possible to define these using a so-called left outer join or a right outer join. The left outer join takes all information from the left hand or first table, in our example, the product table, and joins them to their categories. For example, if you have a customer list with individual sales figures and you also want to see those customers without any sales, the right outer join fetches all products with a category and also all categories. If you wish to combine two different sets of data together, even if they have nothing in common, you can use the cross join introduced in Fiber 2.0. Select p.title, c.text, from product P, cross join category C. Here you need to omit the on, but be careful, this gives you 160,000 results, as it links all fields to all fields, even when they're not connected in any way. In reality, this is seldom used. From these simple building blocks, you can construct very complex structures with extremely complex results. If you are just beginning with SQL, we recommend the IP Expert Query Builder. This enables you to compile your SQL by simply dragging and dropping your objects and using point and click to specify which information you wish to see, set any conditions, and sort the results. It is also found in the IB Expert Tools menu. Here, for example, I want to see information about customers and their orders. I pull the tables onto the working area, link them, and automatically IB Expert finds the common fields and recognizes the relationship between these tables. Then I specify what I want to see in my list. First name, last name, and total amount of orders. And that's my SQL. If I want to make it more complex, I can add order lines, product title, and so on. For example, Ronnie Slaven here has bought five films for 618 euros and five cents. Okay, now we'll take a look at subselects. We can vary our query by replacing the second field by a subselect. Select p.title, select c.text from category C, where c.id equals p.category ID, category text from product. By replacing c.text with where category c.id equals p.category ID, category text, the join is no longer necessary. This new second field is determined for each data set. As the subselect is creating a new unnamed field, the field is given an alias, category text. You can name result columns as you like. This is particularly useful when columns with similar names from different tables are to be queried. For example, if you wish to see C.ID and P.ID in the same result set, you might want to rename C.ID category ID and P.ID product ID. Physically, this query is the same as the join query. However, this option offers more possibilities. You can also insert a subselect in a WHERE clause. Select which fields you want from which tables and restrict it by adding a subselect in the WHERE condition. For example, if you only want to see products from the first category, select p.title c.text from product p. 
join category C on C.ID equals P.category ID, where C.ID equals select first one ID from category. Be careful with this though, as this is one of the areas of SQL where a lot of developers start to go wrong. So the next item I'd like to touch on in this whirlwind tour is unions. Selects are great, and you can get almost anything you want with one select statement. But sometimes you need to combine information using unions. A classic example of when you might need a union select is with a database system that stores its current data in one table and archive data in another table. And a report is required which includes both sets of data being evaluated and presented as a single set of information. The syntax is simple. Two select statements with a union in between to fuse them together. Select p.title, cast, children as varchar20 from product p. Join category c on c.id equals p.categoryid where c.text containing children. Union. Select p.title, cast, not for children as varchar20 from product p. Join category c on c.id equals p.categoryid where c.text not containing children. Here, all titles are being selected that belong to the category children. These results are then going to be combined with another set where the category does not contain the text children. And all these results, that is, every other category that isn't explicitly for children, will contain the category text not for children, regardless of their genre. This artificial field supplies information that is not directly in the database in that form. The rules regarding the joining together of two result sets is that you have to have columns with the same data types. That is, you cannot make integers and blobs in a single result column. You must have the same number of columns in the same layout. For example, if your current orders table has 50 columns and the archive only 30 columns, you can only select common columns, which would be a maximum of 30, for the union select. In the real world, unions do not get used that often. We'll continue with some more operators in part four of our tutorial series, Fiber Developer Training, SQL Basics, part three. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IB Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. You can also refer to the IB Expert online documentation, Firebird Development Using IB Expert, also found at our website. Goodbye for now from all of us at IB Expert.